Chris. Can you talk us through how the headrest has changed over the years and its purpose? Yeah, I think they were introduced around about 1996, following on from Senna's accident. And their primary purpose is for driver head protection during a side or a rearwards impact. Currently we have a minimum thickness for the back and the sides, and the side thickness has grown significantly in recent years. Well, it definitely looks like a fully integrated part of the car when you see it from this angle, it's there in situ, but if we can take it out and have a look at it and see what's going on on the other side, I'm sure there's a bit more detail there. It's quite a big unit really, isn't it? But like anything in Formula 1, I guess quite lightweight. It is, and it's purposely certainly light on the inner faces. It's a very, very thin carbon Kevlar skin. Yeah. And this entire volume is filled with Confort foam, which is a, a memory foam. Now this foam, we've got the blue and the pink. We often see them changing throughout the course of a weekend. I've even seen on the timing screens before, the FIA stipulating when you have to change. What's going on there? That's for temperature reasons. So the pink foam is the most commonly used one, I would say. In really cool or cold temperatures, it would go quite solid. It would not be soft to the touch like that. So this one is inherently a softer foam, but that's for higher temperatures. You've got these sculpted shapes here for the driver's hands when you're on the wheel so it won't bang into this part. How do you go about designing it? That, that's something that we can do as part of the seat fit process um, and we can determine at that stage how much clearance the driver needs there. Like anything in Formula 1, it's bespoke to the driver. There's only the two cars, the two drivers and yeah, you want it to be as safe as possible and meet the safety requirements, but also as comfortable as possible yeah. and therefore tailored to each driver. So other things that to point out, these pins at the back. Yeah, which locate the rear of the headrest into the chassis and it's fixed in place by these two quick release attachments at the front. It looks so flush in there. It looks like, how would you ever get that in? Yeah. You are able to remove the pieces and, and oh, swap yeah. them over. And how does it get shaped to fit that void completely? Is, are they cut into shape? Are they moulded like that? Yeah, they're, they're cut. This machine to a CAD profile, so it will fit the headrest exactly. Well, thanks for clearing all of that up, and I'm sure the next time I see that on the timing page, along with the fans, we'll know exactly what's going on behind the scenes. That's good. No thanks, problem. Chris.